to show you a few common mistakes that happen when printing lithographs and what to do about them when it happens to you. So say you start inking up um, and you've only covered part of your plate. Oh no, it's all filling in. What should you do? Two things. First, if you do not want any ink there, the first thing you can do is take a little bit of water, squeeze it right on top of those places, and just pray it starts to lift up a little bit. You can kind of see it starting to kind of form a wave, and then see if you can kind of wipe it up using the sponge. Uh, make sure to clean out, switch out the clean and dirty water pretty quickly. But remember these plates are somewhat receptive to ink still, just the way they are. Um, so if you were to go ahead and print this with all these marks you don't want, that would probably just smush it in the plate more and leave with you with um, all these dark areas that you don't want. Um, but some people actually like what happens when things start to fill in. So if you think that's really cool, I'd say experiment with that and see what happens. Um, so not only can you add water, but sometimes you can kind of go back over it with quick, firm pressure with the brayer. So quick, firm, right across. And sometimes that will also help to lift up that image. As you can see, Maybe I couldn't save everything. It looks like this is pretty stubborn. I can really like uh, squeeze more water in there, maybe let that in there. If it was really, really bad, I could possibly um, let that up. So the biggest thing is to get it up as soon as possible using flooding it with water and using a little bit of pressure in the brayer um, before printing. Um, another common thing that happens is, uh-oh, you got some uh, water in your ink there on accident. Sometimes it happens, like your sponge is too wet, and you start to go to roll up your image. But then, usually what starts to happen is that your ink here will start to break down, which is funnily enough, actually not too bad right now. but. It's like not really picking up ink. There's like a small film. Usually what happens is it starts to disintegrate. And I think I'm starting to see that happen. Maybe I'll get some more water in there just to really show you. Yeah, so if you start to see things like this in your ink, that means there's water in your ink. If it starts to like pick up and get kind of weird. So what can you do about that? It seems like this will never kind of go away. You want to make sure that you might pick up any extra water that's on your brayer or get it off onto here a little bit until that's like smooth. Um, but oftentimes I will just kind of have to scrape up the entire palette, make sure that everything is dry, and just relay out my ink. So there might be some water in this ink. If you're short on ink and need to use every little bit you've got, kind of put it out here, kind of mix it a little bit first. I would say dry the palette. If you don't want to completely clean it all the way, maybe take a, a scrap piece of paper towel, one that is lint free, and kind of like pick up any of that extra moisture first. Because otherwise that, if any little water droplets get in there, sometimes that whole ink rejection will just continue to happen. Um, looks like that. So yeah, let's spread that out. I think we can say salvage this. Uh, but yeah, blot, make sure that any little bit of water is up first. before you lay your ink back out. And for me, those are two of the most common things that kind of can easily go wrong that you can um, just fix if you know what to look for and know how to like stop and intervene. 
So yeah, that looks like it's good. It's still really thick, but I think that's generally the right, right direction. I 